Karthik, should your LinkedIn profile match your CV word for word? No. LinkedIn has a summary section. Use it. Uh, career profile. Yeah, just cherry pick. You do not need. You you need to get the key key words. Key key words in your LinkedIn profile. Do not make it as lengthy. Nobody. So as a recruiter, nobody, nobody, and I mean nobody, is going to read your LinkedIn profile just like they don't read your resume. And if your first contact with them is the, the resume or your CV, if they look at your LinkedIn profile, which is probable, they're going to buzz through it. And they're likely going to be looking through it to see who you know, not what you know. Got that? Okay. Now, if your first encounter is your LinkedIn profile and when i say encounter i mean if their first discovery of you is because they proactively were searching for something remember how do people find you the same way you found me i'm guessing there's 128 of you on here that 127 of you did not look up andrew lasavita you looked up i'm having some resume problems and then this guy popped up and there i was right that's what a recruiter does in linkedin they don't look for you. They're usually looking for project manager, technologist, database architect, Salesforce administrator, and so on. Okay, so they're gonna pull, come to you, and here's here here's how the mind works. Picture first. First thing anybody looks at is the picture that pops up. It is every time. So have a good one, right? Like bang. Wait in the search. Uh, results first thing I see all the pictures or not and then you have your title headline that's the second thing then they click on it then they open it up then your pictures bigger okay then they zip down and they look through it then what stinks about LinkedIn is your summary is not always expanded so somebody has to proactively do that I mean at least it was last time I checked which was not too long ago and then they're looking through. Now they might see some of the other things that you have attached to your profile. So if your summary's like this, and then they have to expand it, but like if you go to my profile, what are you gonna see? You see my headline, and actually a picture of me is in the headline. Now, now for some of you, that's not maybe not appropriate, but it's because of my business. And then there's my fit my picture, and those look similar. And then there's a summary that's compressed, which you probably can't see too much of. And then there's a row of different attachments. And there's probably me on TV, a Mile Walk Academy uh, catalog that highlights the things we have in the, in, in the Mile Walk Academy universe, a few other things. And there's a suite of stuff. It is important for them to see that. That stuff is not on your resume. But hey, that's a sweet line. It's like six different links and pictures and things that dress up your LinkedIn profile. You can put articles that you've written there. You can put LinkedIn articles that you've written there. Okay, you can put on LinkedIn, you can do a long form post and attach it to the top if you want. Then you go into the articles. You should have some articles that you've written so that those are there and, and people can see them. If you go to mine, you're gonna see an article about how to fast track your career change or something like whatever one of the more recent ones that I put out on LinkedIn and then it'll go into the body and then my body is only going to give you so much that to me is the ideal LinkedIn profile that distribution and so you're not putting all your bullet points you might put one little paragraph and so on but I hope I hope that helps you that's a great great question very confusing without a doubt 